Hey up, it's Louise coming at you from the attic. It's still a bit of a mess in here, so sorry, it's a work in progress. I'm trying to get everything sorted out, but uh, I have way too much stuff in boxes and bags. Anyway, I have got a little haul for you. I recently went to a jumble sale. I love a jumble sale. I love it. Truly, I do. Yes, uh, there's a jumble sale up at the Crook Social Club, which I've never been to before, and I loved it because... I love a working men's club. It makes me happy. I love cheap beer. I didn't have a drink. I just went, jumbled and went home, but you know. So I got a couple of bits from there. I love seeing people just like flog in their old crap. Love it. Got some bits from there. And then I've got some trash shop bits because I went to Hillsborough on the Saturday. And then while we were in Crooks on the Sunday, we went to the St. Luke's charity shop and they had a half price sale on. So got a lot of bargains. So I'll show you what I bought. I will show you first of all the four bits that I got from the jumble sale. Got a little hat with a dog on it. I don't know what kind of dog that is. Is it like a border terrier or something? You see it? What kind of dog is that? If you know what kind of dog this is, let me know. <sighs> I just love a hat. Um, yeah, it's hat season, so. I love a hat. I'm not going to wear it for the whole video. But yeah, I love a little hat. It's cost me 50p. A bargain. I just thought it was cute. And my partner said, baby, you're going to buy that hat and you're never going to wear it. And I was like, no, I'm wearing a hat right now. And I was wearing a hat right then, which is a cool story. But uh, yeah, I love a beanie. I'm chuffed with that. 50p. Great stuff. I feel like a hipster. Uh, <laughs> I also picked up <sighs> this. I spotted it and was immediately like, mm, yes, I have to buy this. It does have uh, some like paint on it or nail varnish, uh, but I mean, it cost me two quid. Yeah, it's got some like red nail polish on it here. You see? I didn't do that, but someone's teenage daughter obviously did. But um, yes, this <laughs> My Chemical Romance, the Black Parade sweater, like the sweatshirt. I love that, it cost me two pounds, but I had to put it in the wash straight away because it smelled so bad of Siggy's. It smelled so bad of Siggy's, but... <sighs> it smells good now, it doesn't smell of Siggy's anymore, so... A bonus, I love that. <laughs> I love my Chemical Romance. I'm wearing a My Chemical Romance t-shirt today. You can't see it because it's under my dungarees, but trust me that I am. Oh wait, no. You can see, MCR. I love my chemical romance. Hey. <laughs> I also got a little pair of shoes. These cost me three pounds. I bought these and my partner said, babe, are you, are you in your Kate Bush era? I'm like, I don't know what you mean by that. These are like pixie boots. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna give them like a polish, like clean them up. I thought they were kind of nice. I don't know. What do you think? Am I having a breakdown? Probably. Oh, they were kind of nice though. My little pixie boots. I thought they were sweet. Ugh, and last but not least, picked up a mug at the jumble sale. You already know what kind of mug this is. Cost me three pounds. And of course, it is a Charles and Diana wedding mug. I don't have this design, so I'm allowed to buy it to buy it. <laughs> I love Charles and Diana wedding mugs. You know I love Charles and Diana wedding mugs. This is what I've got my cup of tea in right now. <sighs> Refreshing. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that's a really unflattering photo of our die. May she rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> I can't get, she can't get enough. I love Charles and Diana commemorative wedding mugs and there's so many of them. So if you have a Sienna, buy it, buy it for me, please. Thank you. So that's my jumble sale haul. I'll show you what I got in the trousers. This I really love. This necklace I got in one of the St. Luke's. I think it was the one in Crooks and it cost me like one pound fifty.
it's just, I don't know, it looks really delicious. I really like this. It's giving me that Dee Dee from Rugrats. I just really like it. I think it's jazzy, as my mum would say. Yeah, I just kind of like it. I was vibing. And it was cheap, so I need more necklaces. God, just got... Nothing is the right way round. I tried all the stuff on um, <laughs> when I bought it and then just left it inside out on the floor because of who I am as a person. Oh, this dress. This is kind of weird. Hold on. It's not all buttoned up. So, this like red floral, I'm assuming it's vintage dress. I thought it was kind of nice, like the print of it. It's really nice. But the way that it fastens is it just buttons up down the side. Like, not down the front, not down the back, down the side. Um, so I don't know. I'll try it on. I think it's kind of cute. I don't know, I was vibing with it, but I don't know if I was vibing with it because it was three pounds. You know, you know how that happens sometimes when something is cheap. When it is a bargain, do I need it? Ooh, these. <laughs> I bought these shorts and I tried them on and then I had an existential crisis because I thought I looked like a tooth when I was wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these cost me one pound fifty, and I was thinking like, oh, they're cute little like dad shorts because they're not like one leg is inside the other. Sorry, they're not like short shorts. I thought they were like little like dad shorts, uh, but I tried them on, and then I was like, God, I just look so square, I look like a goddamn tooth. I look terrible, uh, but I don't know. I think I was just having a bad body day, so I'll try them on, uh, and it's just in time for autumn. So, not shorts weather anymore. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> I might take them on holiday with me. I might not. I don't know. You have to let me know. Do I look like a tooth? Do I look nice? Are they a hit? Are they a miss? Let me know. I trust your opinion implicitly. Like, I don't trust my own opinion. I don't know. I thought they were cute. I thought 150. A bargain. Oh, guess who bought two identical pairs of trousers? Me. Let me just button these up. Uh, yeah, I bought two um, <laughs> pretty much identical pairs of trousers because I <sighs> am an idiot. Just bear with me. A little, there is a little interval moment. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let me do these trousers up. Right, so I bought this first pair and I thought, these are cute. I went and tried them on and they fit. And that I thought they were lilac. I think they are. Like, compared to the other pair, which are like blue and white, I think these are black and lilac. Very like pale purple. Nearly white, but not really. These just like straight legged trousers. It's a hound's toothy pattern. I thought these were natty. And they cost me six quid and I'm like, what was I thinking? Six pounds and the pockets on the back aren't even real. But no, I thought they were kind of, they're kind of nice. They're from Hollister. Never bought anything from Hollister before. I thought they were kind of cute. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. You let me know. Let me know. Um, and the identical pair of trousers, um, these, they're not the same, they're so different, these are M&S ones. <laughs> Ooh, and they're long as well, these are not petite ones, they're not regular, these are for long legs. I didn't notice that, I only have regular legs, so I can't remember them being extra long when I tried them on, so we'll see. Yeah, these cost me £2.25 because they're half price. Let me zip them back up because they keep coming unzipped. Yeah, so these are like a blue and white check, right? And the other ones are different. <laughs> I thought these could be quite nice for work. These ones, slightly more casual, different material. These ones, for work. I don't know. Tell me what you think. They're not the same trousers, right? Validate me, please. These are not <sighs> the exact same trousers. Fake pockets. 
Sure, they're not the exact same trouser. No, they're so different. No, they're not, Jesus Christ. Why? I bought one pair on the Saturday and one pair on the Sunday. Because I've lost control of my life. Turn this inside out. I don't prepare for these at all, do I? I'm a messy girl who lives for drama. Ooh, yeah, my favourite buy, actually. Got this in the BHF, and I don't normally go in the BHF because I find it's quite... Not hit and miss, it's just a miss. Uh, and this was 450, brand new with tags, Uniqlo X Keith Haring sweatshirt. I bloody love this. I bloody love this, you know. I have, yeah, I have one. I have like one of the t-shirts and one of the sweatshirts from one of the other Uniqlo collections with Keith Haring. And I really like it. I think Uniqlo, yeah. Uniqlo, not unicorn, Uniqlo is really good quality for like the prize. So I'm chuffed with that. That one is a winner. And my last little bit. Uh, why are you so inside out? Why don't I prepare for my videos? Because of who I am as a person. Oh yeah, so this is a Laura Ashley dress. I got for three quid. A bargain. I thought this would be a nice one for work. I don't know. I want to be a little fancy girl for work. I want to be, oh, she's so demure and classy when in real life I'm not. I'm a hot mess. But <laughs> this like polka dot sort of skate dress. It's just got really nice flow to it, I think. Like the material's really nice. Long sleeve. I love it. It's a bargain. We love a Laura Ashley. We love a little like middle-aged woman grandma moment don't we so yeah some bargains to be seen to be found to be had to be owned to be worn to be loved to be that was poetic anyway so uh those are my bargains let me know which one's your favorite do i look like a tooth in those shorts are those trousers different enough for me to own both pairs let me know that's life's many mysteries Goodbye, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.